So for asset protection purposes, we don't use banks that have corresponding U.S. branches. It's like this. The judge says, okay, UBS bank, we will find the U.S. branches of your bank $1 million a day until you cough up the information on your depositors over in Switzerland. In fact, we've seen U.S. courts do the same thing, not only for revealing information on depositors, but also for handing over money within an asset protection structure. So what that means is, is that we would not set up a Cook Islands Trust and deposit the money in a bank offshore that also has corresponding U.S. branches. Doing so leaves the money vulnerable to U.S. lawsuits. In fact, this just popped into my mind as I'm sitting here. We know of somebody who went to an inexperienced attorney and had that attorney set up a Cook Islands Trust. Well, the attorney had the bank account set up in ANZ Bank, that's Australia, New Zealand Bank, and that bank had corresponding branches in American Samoa. That blatant mistake of the inexperienced Cook Islands trust attorney was a gaping hole in the structure that left his client exposed. So don't do that. So that's why we use banks that only have branches in Switzerland, Cook Islands, etc., but they do not have corresponding branches in the United States.